Okay. We're going to play a game of real estate, true and false, and we want to see where this goes, okay? Because there's a lot of myths that are out there that people think when it comes to real estate, like you got to do this, you can't do that. So we're going to play a game of true or false, and we're going to answer some questions for you that maybe you have because this is the same. It doesn't matter what's going on in the market. True is true, false is false. True. Right? So we're going to give that to you. So here is a little game of true or false. I will be the question asker. Okay. You're going to be the true or false guy. Okay. And then we'll talk about it, okay, with you guys, the nation. Again, like, share, invite, comment on the video. Let us know what you think. So here we go. True or false. Okay. You need. Am I supposed to let them answer first? Well, we want them to answer. Okay. But no, you're going to answer first. We ain't got time to wait for that. You need 20% down at least to buy a house. That's the question. You need at least 20% down to buy a house. True or false? What's the answer? Well, it's a big false. It's and again until until we started doing these shows, he's left. Sure, he's go ahead. I'm fixing the camera. Okay, but until we started doing these shows, we didn't realize that this was such a big question. But there's so many people in the world that just honestly believe you got to have twenty percent down to buy a house. That's not true. Maybe in the day, back in the day, I don't know what he's doing, but back in the day, maybe that was the case. But there are so many different loans now that offer so many different options. 20% is not the standard anymore. I don't know because I wasn't doing real estate in the 80s. I was running around on a bicycle. <laughs> Just born? Yeah, 1980, man. I was born, but I don't know what was the standard in the Thanks. 80s, but I'm sure we could Google it and find out. But sure. it's not true right now. 2022, right. ever since I've been in real estate, it's not been true. Right. There is 100% loans. There is another myth going around that you have to be a first-time home buyer to get a 100% loan. That's not the case mm -hmm. either. Uh, there's there's so there's a ton of different options. They start at zero percent. There's three and a half percent loans, FHA right. loans. There's people put ten percent down, fifteen percent. You can put twenty percent down. Sure, you can put a hundred percent down if you want Absolutely. to. That's called a cash deal. That's exactly okay. Right. Man, so you go with it. But the answer to the question is: Do you have to have twenty percent down? No. Right. And again, shocked. We were shocked at how many people thought you had. You to. have to. Yeah. yeah. Now there again, as you said, we need to talk about that just a little bit further. There's nothing wrong with. It. Okay, if you, if, you, if you got it, oh, it's great. nothing wrong with yeah. it. It's going to lower your payment, going to lower a lot of things you got to do. That's for a mortgage person. But as we say in so many things, this whole little thing about buying a house, which is why we come here and do what we do, man. Right. It's so personalized. It is. Like this ain't a one size fits all. Let's just all go do the same thing kind of transaction. Right. There's so much that's involved in this. You need to make sure that you got a professional helping you through it because of just as right here. Right. There are people that are out there right now, and you may watch this show, and you may hear you don't have to have 20% down to get a mortgage on a property, and you've been saving for seven years, dude. Right. We've had the privilege to help those people True. before. Now, True. at the same time, just because you can get a 100% loan right. don't mean you should. Right. Again, but uh, so this is this is just a quick. So again, I know a lot of people, and I've heard this because this is what we do. But I've heard people say, "Oh yeah, well, car lots say that too." Right. Car lots say you don't have to have no money sure. down. Sure. Sure. Because but if you got an eight hundred five credit mm -hmm. score, you don't. That's not the case on a mortgage. Mm -hmm. It's not that you have to have this perfect credit. Now again, with every loan, there's qualifications sure. that goes into every loan. Sure. I will tell you that you don't have to have an 800 credit score to get a 100% loan. No, you don't. But the house has to qualify for Absolutely. the loan. Absolutely. You have to qualify for the Going loan. Going deep now. Your income and stuff like that. Yeah, but that, I'm yeah, saying there's a lot of things. But I'm saying a lot of people said, oh yeah, well I've heard you don't have to, that you can get a 100% loan on a house, but I've heard that on cars too. Sure. And if you don't have an 805 credit score, you don't get it. That's not the case on a house. So again, all we're telling you is that no, that's a myth that you don't have to have 20% down. Right. If you want more information, you can call and talk to us and we can get your situation more specifically. We can put you in touch with a lender, those things like that. And those are the people who are going to tell you what you got to have. You have led me in to our second true or false, like great, okay. with what you just said. Okay. But then let's go true or false back to what we just asked. You have to have 20% down to get a mortgage. That's a big. I, I need that. I got. I got that. I got that sound number right. two. So, but that is totally false. Right. You know what I'm saying? It is 100% false. You don't have to, but you need to talk to somebody that's qualified to give you the information. Tell you what's right for you. Here's number two. Okay, led me right into it. 
And the number two true or false that we're going to ask you today is, and let you give the answer to the question, is this. I don't need to shop for a mortgage. They are all the same. Right. Okay? I don't need to shop for a mortgage. They're all the same. True or false? One of the biggest mistakes we see in real estate. Go with it. This I like one when of you the go biggest deep, mistakes like. you see in real estate. I like when because you go listen, deep, like, yes. I'm going to tell you. So let me answer your question first. The answer is false. Okay. Okay. Just like anything you do, whether True. you're car shopping, whether you're house shopping, right. whatever you do, you want to try to find the best deal that you sure. possibly found. So did you say that was false? That is false. I like that. I just want to hit this buzzer right here. I don't know how long it lasts, but I hit a buzzer. I think it went out. Think Go ahead. Yeah, it, 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 was, okay. it was real good. We were spot on. Okay. So uh, the reason is, you hear this. This is what I'm saying. This is one of the biggest mistakes made in real estate. Everybody says, oh, I bank at bank so-and-so. Sure. And I'm just going to go get my loan from that. Sure. Well, I'm not saying that's a problem that you go get your loan from bank so-and-so. Right. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. Sure. However, mm -hmm. a smart buyer is an informed buyer. That's exactly right. So you want to check to make sure that bank that you've banked with for 19,000 years is you. giving you the best deal because interest rates ain't the same at every bank. Mm -mm. Did you hear what I just said? For Contrary to popular belief. Did you hear what I just said? Because yes. everybody knows the interest the rates are going. Yeah. Everybody knows the interest rates are higher now. I'm with you. Not all banks have the same interest rates. It's true, man. Listen. This okay, now. True. So that's. Can I save Y'all. Y'all. This is why we're putting this info out. Can I save money by they, going to Nobody's standing in front of a camera telling you all this. Can I, go, can I save money by going to a different bank? Yeah. Closing costs, lender yeah. fees, all, all the other stuff. That, that's money it. that all you it. are going to be paying. Sure. So, why not? It needs to be done. Shop around. It is a needful thing to do, okay, that you need to talk to more than one place. Okay. Shop around. Can I go a little bit further with I that? I like it when you do go further. That is the same. The rule's the same when you're buying a house and you're using a real estate agent. True. Now we're on here spewing off information and we're telling you we're the best. You need to talk to more to find out for yourself. Right. Yeah, okay? Absolutely. Put us to the test. Interview. But that's the same thing when I'm going back to what you're saying, Leonard. So many people, man, we mess up by like we we really mess up. Okay. Like I, I feel bad for myself right now because I messed up in a spot that I'm in right this moment. I want to talk to one person. Right. Shouldn't have done it. Right. You can and you should talk to more people. True. Talk to more True. people. Interview people. Find out from everybody, and then you pick the one that you feel best represents and suits what you need to do. Because Absolutely. at the end of the day, it's you it's that's got to get that done. It's your money. And, 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 and again, not all real estate people, not all lenders, not all banks, not all more are created equal. Right. Okay? We create, we, 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 we take care of you equally, but they ain't all created equal when it says what kind of service you're going to get for what you pay. We're playing today a little real estate true and false. Giving you some myths, some things that we've heard, things that you've heard that we're letting you know, hey, that's true or that's false. We want you to make sure you like the video, share the video, invite your friends, comment on the video. Would you rather have your coffee straight, how you perk it? Is that what it's called? Perk your coffee? Sure. Would you rather have a brew it? Brew it? Or would you rather have it doctored up a little bit? Let us have Also, that. another historical event going on today is it's the first time since like 1994. Mm -hmm. But you've been taller than me because I'm I'm really squatted down on where that thing keeps dropping. So that you can I'm be back taller out here again. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't know what's that. I hope the floor ain't, ain't sinking. You know what I'm saying? Right. But here we go. So here's the third myth, and we're going to do this one quick because we're running out of time. True or false? Yeah, I like this one. This is my favorite one. Okay, I can save. I can save. Okay, by hiring a real estate agent. To sell my home. Yes. True or false? You can save by hiring a real estate agent to hire, to sell your house. Yes. The answer that's true. I like it. That's I true. Like it. Tell people the nation why. So I you can. You can Tell people you can the save why. money because you're not gonna to have to pay a commission. Mm -hmm. Let's just be honest here. We're all adults. Let's talk like adults. Now, this is by hiring. Hold on. We're hiring a real estate agent. You didn't hear what I said. Yeah. Can you say by hiring a real estate agent 
to sell your home. Yeah. Sure. Go with tell yeah. them why. I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page. Yeah. So you can. You, you know why? You I was wrong. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can save money, but you're going to lose money. Sure. Sure. I'm with you on this. You're going to lose money. Keep going. Go ahead. Tell them what to think. I don't, I don't remember that number. No. Well, well it's a true statement. Right. 26%. Is what the average house that's listed with a real estate agent sells for more. Listen to that. A real estate agent typically sells a house so, for 26% more than a for sale by owner. Can you sell your house and save money? Sure. Yes, you can. Sure. But your house on average sells for 26% less. Yeah, if you do it. If you do it. Versus if a real estate agent. Yeah. So well, you can. You can save money, but you lose money. But can I go back to, again, what we say so often? The hear it. This is a personal choice, man. Like, so many people are just even scared to have the conversation with a real estate agent because we charge a commission. That's true. I that, mean, like, that's true. We're not going to walk you in the door and say, okay, give it to me. I ain't talking to you. Like, if they're doing it, you need to run. You know what a, you you know what a real estate agent gets paid? <laughs> when the job is done. When the job is done. Think of that, man. It's true. Think of that. It's true. Everybody's got to be okay with it at that point. Yeah. We've all signed off on it. If anybody's like, telling you to pay me money up front, yeah. question that. Be real. That's why I said run. Question that. Run. That's why, again, like we talked about with lenders, shop your, shop your realtor. Those conversations are very much worth having. Now, I'm going to go ahead because we're, we're just true speakers here, man. I like it, buddy. It ain't I'm right. Get wild here, it man. ain't right for everybody. Real estate not, agents ain't right for everybody. Certain situations. Realtors, there are situations, man, where we've, said, we've said it for five years now. Mm -hmm. it, it ain't always true. Right. But it don't cost you nothing to have a conversation. No, it's worth it. I Same mean, thing with the mortgage person we've been talking about. We don't want you to think we're just pumping real estate day. We've been helping mortgage people, insurance, talk through for it, man. Let's, let's put it, let's put it, and, and you're talking or you're listening to one of the worst, worst, mathematicians in the whole country, <laughs> okay? But let me tell you something. We said 26% less. Mm -hmm. So if you got a $100,000 house that you're gonna sell. There's a lot. That's telling me that your realtor could maybe sell it for 126,000. What I think Now I listen, mm -hmm. that ain't commission. No, we don't get the 26. We don't get $26,000 in commission. If we did, yeah. I ain't standing here doing a real estate show today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Miami on a beach somewhere. somewhere you're going to hear old Dave down there doing something else. Yeah, you I ain't going to be standing here doing a real estate show at right. 12 o'clock on noon on a Wednesday. I'm with you on I'm this. starving to death right now. I would do it because I like these people. <laughs> I ain't lying. I'm starving to death right now. I got more yeah. stuff I can do. If people I clap and eat right now. I could go they're, they're eat right now. Oh, okay. It's because I made it happen. Oh, okay. I thought, how yeah. do you know it? So what I'm saying, like that's stuff that's a conversation. I was going to say, bring us back home here. Have that is stuff that's a conversation, Have a conversation that you need to talk to, that Have you just need to talk to a realtor about. You should. Again, we'd love for you to call We would us, love for you to call But us. we say this and it burns people's hides. There's a lot of good realtors in this town. Sure. And we ain't going to deny it. Sure. There's a lot of good ones. Find you one sure. and talk to them. Sure. Yeah, I mean, that's, I, I'm 100%. I'm 100% yeah. on what needs to happen, what needs to go down on all this stuff. That's got to happen. Have the conversation. We're going to take, that's been any real estate information, by the way, for today. We are going to have a short commercial break. We'll be right back with the local area happenings in the conclusion of the 218th episode of Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live, presented by your friends at Elite Realty.